I'm Lieutenant Tom Montgomery with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol and the purpose of this instructional video is to help law enforcement officers at the scene to identify the proper equipment of large and small wreckers that are summoned to the scene of a collision. As you can see we have a large truck wrecker and one of the first things that a law enforcement officer needs to do is to identify whether or not it's a licensed wrecker service in the state of Oklahoma. Licensed wrecker vehicles inspected and approved by DPS are readily identified by the following. Number one, the name of the wrecker service in at least three inch letters centered vertically on both sides. It shall be clearly visible at all times and contain no misleading or false information. Magnetic or temporary signs are not approved. Number two, Department of Public Safety number on each side centered vertically and on both sides. Number three, a windshield sticker decal on the right hand side of the truck's windshield. The decal will be a double A or a G with the current year displayed. Number four, wrecker license or cab card. If a wrecker vehicle is currently licensed by DPS, they will have a wrecker cab card license, vehicle specific, carried in the truck with current year listed. The wrecker license plate. After the vehicle has been inspected and approved by the department, the wrecker operator must purchase and affix a wrecker license plate to the vehicle or have a proportional license plates. My name is Captain Jeff Griffith with the Highway Patrol and uh, we're going to talk about uh, the requirements for a standard wrecker or what's called a recovery wrecker. This is just your basic wrecker class. Uh, this wrecker for years and years was about the only thing that we had in the record rotation before we had rollbacks, before they were approved to be towing vehicles. The same standard equipment's required for this wrecker as any other wrecker. And uh, the things that any peace officer or trooper should know is one of the first things that they should look for is the AA sticker. The AA in, uh, indicates that it's suitable for law enforcement rotation. Make sure you look at the 2013 or the year of the license for the sticker, and it should correspond to the cap card that he will have in his vehicle. By law, any peace officer can ask the towing operator for his cap card, which they must produce, and it'll show their license number and the year of expiration on it. If it's not valid, then they can't tow. And they certainly can't be towing off of a law enforcement rotation if their license is not up to date. So the basic equipment issues are, are basically the same. Peace officers should look for uh, lettering on the side of the vehicle. Again, just like Lieutenant Montgomery indicated, it's supposed to be a minimum of three inches. Should be plain lettering, but we allow a little bit of script, but not too fancy. But it should be able to be legible by your average person. Uh, the DPS number, troopers and police officers should look for the DPS number. This should be the same number that's on the cab card license that's issued by DPS to this record. If it's not, then you need to be looking at the VIN number off the cab card and comparing it to the VIN number of the, of the truck because uh, they could be operating different vehicles. And the reason we want that to, uh, to be examined is he may not have insurance on this wrecker. So he's towing people's property and equipment, uh, possibly illegally or without insurance. Some of the standard equipment that they have on these wreckers, if you'll notice, these are dollies. Again, before we had rollback wreckers, uh, a conventional wrecker would be used to tow a vehicle that couldn't be towed uh, with all the wheels on the ground, or, or, or two, one of the two sets of wheels on the ground. So what the record driver would do, they would put these under, under the vehicle, and uh, it would be lifted up so they could tow it without hurting the transmission. Since the advent of the rollback wrecker, uh, recovery wreckers still use these, but they're not used as much because we have different kind of equipment. But the rub of it is for a lot of record drivers or companies who only have a conventional wrecker, if a trooper calls for a rollback wrecker, right, this guy can tow most everything that you can with that rollback. He just has to use his dollies. So just because he doesn't have a rollback doesn't mean that he can't tow it in the same way uh, as a rollback. But if a vehicle's burned or, or there's some other problem where all the wheels are flat, and then you know the trooper or the police officer may have to use a rollback. The standard uh, configuration of, of uh, a AA wrecker has to have a boom to be able to lift a vehicle. A lot of times a rollback wrecker won't be able to lift 
a vehicle off of a guardrail or to pull it out of a ditch. So recovery wrecker is required because he's got that big hydraulic boom and can lift a car and set it back down where he needs to to tow it. A lot of times, this is the only thing that will get a vehicle off a, off a steep ditch. Rollback wreckers aren't real great for doing a lot of winching sideways or things like that. And that's where the police officer trooper needs to ensure that they get a conventional or, or recovery wreck, what we call a recovery wreck. This is a wheel lift. It operates the same as a stinger. We call it a stinger. It's on a rollback. They can, they can lift the car on the front with that stinger and tow it down the road. The standard equipment on, the, on a conventional wrecker is the same as the others. Um, we have to have a broom, shovel, axe, snatch blocks, fire extinguisher, floor dry, uh, suitable to clean up uh, the roadway. And record drivers are required to clean up the scene of an accident. Troopers should look for the top lights on the car, or the record rather, and make sure that they're visible from 360 degrees. They all should have displayed, unlike this guy, if you'll notice, his record tag is obscured by his lights, so we'll chat with him, which is a violation of the law. The tag has to be visible. <clears throat> tow lights are an issue that I'm not sure if Lieutenant McCurry talked about it. Since a record driver is towing the car, the wrecker has to provide the brake lights for the vehicle being towed. So they use tow lights. They're magnetic lights. They'll put them on the top or the back of a vehicle that are hooked into the wrecker so that when towing the vehicle, when he applies his brakes, the brakes will light up on the towed vehicle. This is a required item. And uh, the rest of the equipment are, are basically the same. From the rear of the vehicle, the law enforcement officer needs to observe several things. Number one is that the wrecker is displaying the proper license plate. It's either a wrecker tag, with a, starting with a W, or it's an apportion tag. Moving back towards the rear of the vehicle, uh, the enforcement officer needs to, to make sure that the vehicle is equipped with a winch with at least a 40,000 pound capacity. Also, the, the wheel base of the large truck wrecker needs to be a minimum of 200 inches and pay particular note to the dual uh, axle, drive axles on the rear of the vehicle. It must be a twin screw where the axle, it's set, both axles uh, operate in tandem together. Here we have a class G or what's commonly known as a general class wrecker or in this particular case, a repossession wrecker. The following equipment uh, is required to be on a class G wrecker. The law enforcement officer should look for the G sticker located in the, on the front right hand portion of the windshield and coming around to the side of the vehicle he must have the company name uh, readily visible in three inch letters with the DPS number. Moving back we notice that the wrecker is equipped with fire extinguishers that there must be at least one fire extinguisher or a combination of fire extinguishers fire extinguishers with a 10 pound rated capacity. He must have tow lights, he must have two chains, and in this particular case he is equipped with a, a set of dollies on the back of the truck. Moving back around you'll notice that he has his required broom, he has his required shovel, he also has two, two tow straps, You'll notice he has the proper wrecker tag with a W, uh, and he also has a light bar. Now, the minimum lighting requirements for a G-rated wrecker is one amber rotating light, so this is certainly adequate for his purposes. In addition to the required equipment, the G-wrecker is also required to have, at a minimum, tire chains, or in this particular case, he has mud and snow-rated tires. Required minimum equipment for all licensed wreckers. Number one, a fire extinguisher with a minimum capacity of 10 pounds and readily available. Number two, flashing lights. At least one amber rotating or flashing light visible from 360 degrees. Number three, chains. Two chains of sufficient grade to secure the towed vehicle. Number four, a broom, one push type broom suitable for clearing debris from the road. Number five, shovel, 
one shovel suitable for clearing debris from the road. Number six, tire chains. One set of tire chains or mud and snow rated tires to assist the wrecker for traction in mud, snow, or ice. Number seven, warning devices. Warning devices applicable to trucks as required in statute capable of protecting the scene of a collision by day or night. Number eight, lighting for towed vehicle. Wreckers must be equipped to operate a towed vehicle's stop, turn, and clearance lights. Number nine, safety chains or straps. Two safety chains or straps of sufficient capacity to keep the towed vehicle attached to the wrecker. Number 10, additional equipment. Rollback wreckers shall secure towed vehicles with a four point tie down and all wreckers shall secure vehicles in accordance with vehicle chassis recommendations. Number 11, wrecker dollies when used as the lift or towing device shall first be approved and licensed as a unit by the Department of Public Safety. A ball or pintle hook of sufficient size or capacity to safely control the dolly. B two safety chains of sufficient capacity to keep the dolly attached to the wrecker.